Hi there, welcome to Do You Know Bozeman Like We Know Bozeman. And today we are at the Baxter Hotel in downtown Bozeman. We got the general manager with us. Yes, the general manager of the Baxter Hotel, Amy Horton. And what a beautiful place. When was this built? Uh, 1929. Now, is it true, like when I drive down uh, Main Street and I see Wilson Street, he was the architect for this hotel? He was, yep. Uh, what, for, is it Fred Wilson? Fred Wilson, yeah. Uh, so, if, is any famous people, have they ever stayed here? You know, I don't know if Eleanor Roosevelt stayed here, but she definitely got her hair done downstairs in the basement. So you used to have a salon in the yep, basement? Yep. Um, that was one of the original things that was down there. And then uh, we were told that Richard Nixon actually stayed here. So as president? As vice president. As vice president. Yeah, yep. Now, um, a hotel originally, it's not a hotel anymore. It's not. So when it was originally built, we had 104 rooms. We have the apartments on the sixth floor. And then we had Bacchus Pub and um, the Robin Bar downstairs. Uh, I mean, before that, there was a pharmacy and some other businesses. But. So now the Bacchus Pub, mm -hmm. um, while that's kind of new, actually it was the Bacchus Pub many years ago, yep. right? Yep, it was. So those monk heads that you see downstairs, those are original. Um, a lot of those tiles are original as well. And um, we've tried to bring that back. Um, you know, the original stuff in the building, we're trying to bring those elements back. Is, speaking of today. original, the lobby, from what I understand, everything in there is original too? It is. The lights, the, the entry, um, the, the flooring, that's all, all original. Um, the only thing that's you know, changed up down there is Ted's is different. And then the Le Chatelaine Chocolate Shop, that was actually a baggage claim area. That's the original baggage, baggage claim? Yep. Where was the, when you walk into the lobby, where was the, where, where did you check in? check in. It was uh, on the right hand side. We have a mirror there right now, but in the floor you can see a cutout where the desk used to be. And w when did it no longer become a hotel? Switched over in 82. So we were kind of minimized in 82 and then uh, all the hotel rooms on the third through sixth floor were turned to condos. So we have 20 condos upstairs. They rent long-term, short-term rentals and uh, third floor is office space. Can I get a condominium in this building? You might have to get on the wait list. Is that, <laughs> how long is the waiting list? <laughs> uh, you know, you get on and, and, and see. Um, sometimes at six months, it could be two years. Typically, when people get in the building, they stay a few years. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, a couple more questions. Uh, let's go to the roof, mm -hmm. the, the big sign. Is yep. that the original sign? It's the original sign, and it was actually shut off. Gosh, um, people say that the sign went dark you know, over 40 years ago. Um, so a few years ago, we restored that sign back to the original, repainted it, got new lights in there, and actually uh, Senator Bacchus came and did the ribbon cutting with us. Um, Robin Schott, one of the uh, owners of the operating hotel, um, came as well, and the Graff family came too, that were the original founders. So it was a big deal. Yeah, it was a big deal. What about the blue light? Is that true, or is it a rumor that the blue light is when Bridger has snow? It's true, and Bridger controls it, so they definitely know when there's, uh, I think it's a two inches of fresh snow. So they have a switch at Bridger yep. that they flip, mm -hmm. so we can't flip it today? No. Okay. No, but I can turn on the sign, Is it? <laughs> <laughs> but not the blue light. All right, it's yeah. uh, Amy Horton. She's the general manager with the uh, Baxter Hotel. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Fascinating.